Hey everybody, it's James here over at Crypto Rookies and welcome to my ICO training course. I'm feeling so over the last month or so, you probably would have seen a whole bunch of videos come out on my channel. This was my basic foundation course, just to help people get started. As we move forward, I will release more and more courses where it's got the more advanced stuff. Now, apologies, this course was recorded in Jan 2018. Uh, and obviously you can tell by the recording difference that this is a new video that I've added on to the front end of the course. Just to really give it a bit more context, because even since recording that course, the content is still valid. Uh, however, the market's changed considerably. There's even more ICOs out there. It's even more treacherous. You need to do even more research. You need to spend more time just to find that one project. However, this course will really, really help you up your game and really sort of increase your chances of finding a decent ICO. Because there's still mileage, there's still the new companies coming through, there's still the Apples, the Amazon, still to come through the ICO process. As we move forward, again, I think even the ICO process will, will fundamentally change over the next 18 months, especially as regulation and, and lots of different things. And your research will predominantly be the same. You might need to add bits to it, but at least you'll have a core foundation which will help you. As always, guys, this isn't financial advice. It's just stuff that I've pulled together and helped me be incredibly successful in the space. Another top tip that isn't in the course, one of the things I've started doing quite recently is actually going to the blockchain events and actually meeting with the CEOs. It's one thing that I always demand. If I'm investing in a project, I want to speak to the CEO. Obviously, I leverage the position on the channel and stuff, and that gives you such a great insight. You know, great little project recently was uh, Data Blockchain. Spoke to Scott pre-ICO, and it was, it was amazing. Like, when you actually speak to these guys, you, you can tell. That's another key indicator for me, is when you speak to these guys, you know, at what level that they're playing. You know, once they'd sold, businesses for 700 million to Expedia and stuff that the, the experience oozed through and all of the other stuff that they had in place. So it was no surprise pre ICO, you know, they were 16 million ahead uh, and now they're in their ICO. So again, that's not advice, that's nothing, but I just wanted to explain, you know, some key examples of things that you can do. And there's stuff in the course which, you know, will really, really help you. So that's enough of me wittering on. So let's get into the course and let's just have a look at the quick contents of all the stuff that we're going to cover. So these are objectives for the course and there's nine key ones. So the first one is just to understand what ICOs are. Uh, real basic, not going to spend too much time on that. Then we're going to sort of drill down into the market data because there's a lot of hype around ICOs that you can make the most money out of them and all these types of things. However, the, the reality is, is that we need to look at the market data and really understand what's happening because the numbers don't lie and we need to really drill down into that and just understand some key dynamics. Next one, we're going to have a look at the good, the bad and the ugly. So we want to really then split that data out and have a look at what's worked well, what's done okay and, and what's just done, you know, an absolute pile of shit basically. So we're going to break that down, have a look at it and I've got loads of stuff within the course that will help you do that, some tools to help you. Then we're going to have a look at the ICO checklist. So obviously, this the bulk of this course is to help you research ICOs. And within this checklist, it will be a whole bunch of stuff. And each section will be broken down as well. So you can have it as a complete checklist. So you can print off the, the slides. You can use this when you're researching your ICOs. Then we're going to have a look at some sort of like red flags. What are the things that you really need to sort of be watching out for? Because I promise you now, the level of detail that I go into with my ICO research uh, I know that others just don't do that and they probably follow the hype and what is the next thing by the next YouTuber and that really brings me into the ICO watch outs because you know there are some some huge players out there manipulating the marketplaces and you just need to be really aware of what's going on there. Then the next bit will be how to buy an ICO and where to store your coins. And there'll be some videos there which will show you how to do all of that. And I'll be going through how to buy an ICO as well. And I'll take you through some of my um, my Mytha wallet bits as well, just to, to make sure that you understand the full process. Then there's a little bit of a summary just to backtrack. What are the key points that I need you to remember and draw out? And then I'm going to talk to you about how you can get loads of discounts on ICOs. Talk about have you got a strategy and what is your strategy for ICOs because that is the overriding thing. You can pick the best ICOs 
But if you don't have a strategy to accompany it, then you're pretty much a loser there. And then talk about some giveaways, uh, some stuff that we're doing over at Crypto Rookies where we're giving away uh, $5,000 worth of crypto. So some fun stuff as well. So hopefully that covers everything for ICOs. So let's get stuck into the course. Yeah, baby, yeah! I'm feeling good.